Hi, welcome to Floral Friday again, and today we're going to look at gorse, Ulex europaeus. So, Ulex europaeus is the, the, Ulex is apparently just the, an old Latin name for gorse and europaeus, probably because it's native, probably because it's native to the UK, um, sorry, not to the UK, to Europe. So, it is a member of the pea family, which we can see from the classic pea-shaped flowers. It also, like all members of the pea family, fixes nitrogen, so that means that it will help. It can grow in very poor soil and it can make it more fertile. It doesn't like growing in canopy under shade, so you will see it usually in an open landscape. Apparently, Carl Linnaeus, the, the famous Swedish naturalist, when he first came to the UK and he swore, saw a vista of um, gorse shrubs in flower with the, the, the yellow, the sea of yellow, apparently he dropped to his knees um, in awe of the beauty. So whether that's true or not, who knows. Um, there is also a lovely saying around gorse, which in the UK, which is, um, kissing is out of season when the gorse is out of flower, which basically means that if there's no gorse flowers, you can't kiss. But fortunately, there is always um, gorse and flower somewhere, and so you're all right to do your kissing throughout the year. So we have a beautiful, uh, beautiful, typical pea-shaped flower where you've got your standard petal at the top, the two winged petals at the side, and then you've got your keel petals at the bottom. And in this species, you've got the calyx. So if you remember when we were talking about the snowdrop, we talked about a calyx being something that sits usually underneath the flower and is a protective, something that protects the flower until it opens up. So here you have a calyx which is really hairy and is almost the length of the flower. From an ethnobotanical point of view, you can use the a bright yellow dye has been um, that you can get from the leaves, from the, sorry, from the petals. You can use the very small flower buds for making capers, which I've not done yet, but I am thinking of doing that this year, which would be fab, I'll let you know how I get on. And also the wood itself is um, very, very hot for burning. And some people say that the Great Fire of London, which we know started in a bakery, potentially had gorse being burnt in the fires. So it could have been gorse that started the Great Fire of London. What I'd really like to show you, which is just lovely and do with children a lot, is the relationship with how gorse get pollinated. So a bee or another pollinator will land at the back of the flower. I don't know if you can see this. Right at the back of the flower, beneath the top petal, the standard petal at the top, and on top of the keel. And it'll push down the weight of it and as it's pushing down to try and get nectar, from the keel, out will pop, it's like it's spring-loaded, out will pop the stamen and the stigma. So obviously what comes first is the stigma to get the pollen from the visit of the previous flower, and then the stamen will whack the back of the bee, giving a big dusting of pollen from its anthers. So the bee gets a double whammy, it gets some lovely nectar, and then it gets covered in pollen, which you'll put in its pollen sacs. And so you can actually see this, you can actually, um, you can actually mimic it yourself by pushing your finger right at the back of the flower and watching this spring-loaded the gynecium and androecium, trying to be pushed there, but the, basically the male and female bits coming out and whacking the bee on the top of the head. So the bee gets a bit stunned, hangs around for a bit, moves around, so it gets lots of pollen on its body, and then it goes to the next flower, and that's when, again, the same thing will happen and the stigma will get pollinated. So have a go with that. And also there's a fabulous video actually on YouTube. If you, if you Google in YouTube, gorse and bees pollination, pollination there's somebody in the States who um, has honeybees and has actually videoed some bees um, doing this. So you can see it in slow motion. Anyway, so there you go, gorse. So enjoy.